guys, I have made a smoke game in Unreal Engine 4. So here's what it looks like. Wait a second, is it that one? Uh, it's that one. Look at this, guys. I have made this. Now, I followed the tutorial and I finally found out how to move. Uh, so the way you move your cube is you have a cube right here. Now, keep in mind that this is not the first beginning. Um, so what you have to do is once you go to the project settings and you move your cube, see the place that's exactly where you start from. And your cube wouldn't move if, here's my disclaimer guys, your cube, this is the input right here. So you come to input, your cube would not move if you just go to 1 or 1. It does move, but this is such a low force, so you have to go to 6, you have a really high force. And if I click play, look at, I must click the screen quickly. See, I can actually move around freely. Now I'm going really fast and this is 14,000 something like that. I know it's just crazy, this is 14,000. But the speed that I'm ascending is insane. I should just get there in a few seconds. I don't even know how fast I'm going really, but this is 14,000. At some point I should reach the end. I should see the end. You see just how fast you were going. So you can also see that, um, I click play again, so yeah, sort of see how fast you were going actually, so if you click play again, um, sort of adjust the speed that you're flying in or something like that, forward force is 2000, so if I go to 1000 I should be able to, wait, if I just go to, just to 10, would that make it slower, or something like that, let's just see that, I mean it'll be good if it did, I mean because you don't need it so fast. Or is it even moving? Whoa! Because it's... This isn't even moving. Now I know they trick you like, oh it's really slow and stuff like that, but it's some, you cannot tell the difference between extremely slow or fully stopped. And it's probably fully stopped, but you just cannot tell that. Look at rolls. The cube rolls. So yeah, this is what I just did in the progress. Uh, so we're going to put up that again from 10 to let's say about 150 and no, 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 not that, just 50 by itself uh, and done. Of course you cannot have minus force because negative speed is so no, it doesn't make sense. Uh, even backwards is not negative speed, it's just backwards. We need to actually add the force in. So we're going to go to, of course we can do this. Because maybe the first one we have to go to 1000. Pile. And that's, maybe this would work. Yeah, there it goes. This is, this is twice slow. But you see, you have to avoid these cubes if they want to stack together. Well, they're not meant to be, so it'll be really easy. They're not meant to all be like that together, but you see, see the fact that oh, I pressed right by accident. But this is the game I just made. Uh, this is just the game I just made. Wait, where's, where are they? There they are. Use the mouse, just go really quick. And of course, you can actually, this is 14,000 blocks. It's not a whole block, actually. It's not a whole, it's not the whole th maze. I mean, we're not starting also from the beginning, so it's sort of half of that number, really. But still, if you go to inside and change this to, let's say, let's say uh, 6,000, you can imagine how great this would be. 6,000 scores, and you just go flying, so I go to F, play. You see that wall, look at this, this is 6,000, in about a few seconds we'll be at the end. In a few seconds, guys, this is 6,000. Look at to see the floor. Whoa, it's careful. Whoa! Boom! That was good fun. Because 14,000 is really low, actually, because the way you start from is actually really low. So we'll just do that by chain to that one to let's say say sixty thousand. Boom! There you go. Let's make it a lot, 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 lot quicker. Now, of course, this game is not going. It wouldn't go that quick. 
It's not going to go flying like a rocket web, that is. I don't know how fast this is, really. I just don't know how fast this actually is. But this is insanely fast. What? Did I go too fast? Did the game sort of... <laughs> the game crashed because I went too fast. Well, it's not because I went too fast. It's just because... No, I might age, look at that. Of course, you can actually change it if you wanted to. If you go to, let's say, one million. Does the game, does the game have limits or is it all, all as much as you want, can? Whoa! Well, the game crashed. It's because you're reaching light speed. That's why we're going close to light speed. That's why it's not going to work. It's best to just keep it to 1,000. So we'll have 1,000 as the actual score. Uh, and that's it. And, and just make it 10 times faster than 100. But it's a pretty average speed, you can sort of see. It's not really slow. It's not really fast. It's pretty average speed. All you need to do, you see, this is just, this is the actual learning, this long one is the basic one. But where you start from is, look, it's all endless. Can you do it infinite? Let's see. Oh, you can't add words inputs. But how do you do the infinite number? How do you do the infinite simple, actually? How do you do infinity as your controller? It's imagine if we could do that, actually. Will your score become infinite or what? Infinity. Let's try that. No, you can't, it doesn't let you type. Put the zero, of course. This is pressed. This is flat, nothing. Any object is always going to be zero, no matter what it is in. No matter which angle it's coming from, if it's, it's from height to to zero, is it from width wide to zero, is it from thickness to zero, it will always turn into nothing. So yeah, it doesn't matter which way you're doing, it will collide into nothingness. Always will collide into nothingness. So, for instance, you could have, let's say, um, this is really long, but we don't really need it that long. Of course, if you want to make a similar really endless runner, for instance, if you want to make like a really, really, really long endless runner template, this could be really useful. You could just do 1,000 blocks, let's say. And, oh, what? Oh, where's the mouse? There it is. You can see that all the way from back there. The back there is this really blocks? I don't really know what this is, but look, 1000. It seems like a big number, of course, but look just how short it is compared to where you are and the speed that you're flying in. Look, how, look how really short it is. So, of course, 1000 is not going to work. We're going to make it 10 times longer, which would be about say 10,000. There you go. This should be exactly 10 times longer. But it's still really short, so you can sort of still see the ending. If you want to make it, look here, let me show you guys, if you click play, of course, it's not going to take me to calculate time, but look here, I can move my cube left arm, it's not going to be that tilty, really. Of course, you can sort of make it, but don't be careful not to stick the buttons, really. And if you've seen the site, if you've seen the site Blender, there's another game, soft, game uh, software site called Blender, and it's a lot more complicated than Unreal Engine 4 by itself. You see that? So yeah, by itself we don't really need that much of an input actually. For some reason, where's the world settings? Step one. No. What if I click no? Do I roll as no? It doesn't really know it's different. Let's click yes because that's what we had before. So yeah. There okay, so we could sort of do that. Of course, this is about a, a 10,000 block. It's not really long, but if you want to make a really, really long, of course, endless, not endless uh, runners, but sort of like similar, really long runners, you're not going to, 
runners. I know this seems long, but think about it. Like, but it seems like ten thousand would seem like a big number. But think about how, if like in a few, we didn't reach that, but in like about a few seconds, thirty six seconds, we've already reached that. But think about it. An actual runner still lasts a lot longer than that. So we can go for let's say a hundred thousand. There you go. And it's now a lot, 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 lot longer. And it's a lot longer. This should give us a proper example. And we'll go up here, for instance, just to update this from project settings. We're going to go to the input bar. And we're going to go from 60, which is really, really high, to, let's say, um, let's say, 30, no, just 16, let's say that. Sixteen, sort of, and click enter. So there you go. So this should give you about a sixteen bar. Now I'm using A and D as the inputs. You could also do it where you can actually like. Um, I'm just testing this out really. So pressing A and D. Say so you could also sort of if you go. To, to, edit project settings here and go to your input bar uh, you could also do it so you could add another axis no oh, that is mapping and you can cause one let's say I should make a copy of this and one of this you got for fun and the other one you can just actually do the whole tutorial let's say a uh, rotate it's not rotate the cube but just to rotate the and you can about to use a mouse for this. You can just minus X mouse Y. You can just X, for example, at the scale. I don't know if this would work or if the force is just really low. No, it's, it's probably because the force is actually really low. That's why. Believe me, guys, it's not because this isn't working. It's because the force is just really, really, really low. Actually, it's because the, the force is just really low. Watch this. If we go to four, go to sixteen. Let's say and enter that. It should give us more a visible look. The force is extremely slow. Oh, why is it not working actually? Why is it not working? I should see any difference. A second. Why is it going down? It's because no, it's because I'm going right. Yeah, let's just try again. Let's try another side so we can get to edit. So click from 160. Is this meant to be minus? Sometimes this could be not 160. Is this sometimes they actually let you. Maybe after sometimes. No! What happened to my. Oh, there it is. Phew. So I lost the input for a second. I don't want to click that. I just want to. I could just click on it that it's fully uh, locked in place. Maybe, maybe, maybe. Go to edit project input. Maybe if we could add really like a really extreme force on it, maybe like a thousand or something like that. An extreme force. This should sort of give it something. That doesn't work it's because maybe we got minus, that's why the mass doesn't work. So let's try. Going from minus. Okay, guys, thank you for a second, guys. Uh, let's just see if this uh, minus to plus would work, really. Oh, my days. Give me any time to even do anything. Thank you, guys, for watching this video. And I will see you in another one. Bye, guys.